is never is one of the most interesting ones of all of the challenges. I really believe that because it's so philosophical when you look at the solutions. In this example, we're gonna have, it's gonna be pretty quick probably to solve it, but I'm gonna show you a ton. I think I have seven alternative examples I found from the community and uh, a couple nopes as well that don't work but are close. And we're gonna talk about why, I'll try to fumble through talking about why it's a little bit, like I said, esoteric, philosophical. So what it is, is it's a type that we would expect to return true only when the input is a never type and false all other times. It seems, it's like checking for NAN, you know, like so anything equals equals NAN is always uh, evaluates to false. It's very similar, kind of like hard to wrap your mind around how to write code for it. But Ian, where would you, where would you start with something crazy like this? <laughs> uh, I think the naive way that I would probably start, and I'm guessing it's not going to work because otherwise this wouldn't be a medium. Uh, would be to check like t extends never, never. Mm -hmm. right? And then if it does, then I return true, and otherwise I return uh, false. Okay. Right? And the test case is passed. Does the, this work? This this does work. Um, there is a there is a what is it? Um, so never cannot extend uh, never. So a tuple containing only never can never extend another tuple again containing never. Um, I think this is supposed to, did maybe something is wrong here. Um, is never, hold on. Uh, I'm be becoming suspicious of the tooling here. Never, okay. It doesn't work. This case is, is uh, a little bunk or bonkers or whatever. It's returning, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just as it's hard, like I was saying to write a solution for this, it's also hard. So we would expect is never in this case to return, uh, true, but it actually returns never. And because never is like a top, never is actually more top than any. I don't think a lot of people see it that way, but never is like one of the top most, or I guess maybe the top most type. And I put in here T extends true to try to, or that's the way the, TypeScript challenges come to try to solve this, and it doesn't work. So, despite the tests passing, the tests are faulty. Keep going; it still doesn't work. <laughs> um, so, give me a hint. What? What? So, there's something to do with like this. Even so if it's there's a hack. Yeah, I mean, I'll just tell you. There's not much to say to hint. I'll just show you. There's a hack, which is that you can do this. You can put the, uh, could you move your cursor, by the way? Oh, yeah. Thank you. The, if you put tuple, like you put the element that you're checking against in a tuple, and then you check against another tuple, these are tuples with one element in it. The first one has T, and the second one has never. And we're saying if one extends the other. For whatever reason, in TypeScript, this works, but the thing that you did before doesn't. Well, I mean, not for whatever reason. I think the reason is probably exact. Um, it has to do with assignability to never. And if we come up here, we're going to see that indeed x is equal to true, which is what we were hoping to get. So it's tough to even write tests for something like this. Anywho, right. if you're wondering, like, what is the, can I do t array and never array, or does it have to be tuples? Uh, lucky you, I prepared a chart, and this chart shows all the other ways that you can solve this, and they all work. So these are the different combinations, never as a tuple, t as a tuple, never as an array, t as an array, and they all function exactly the same in this respect. So that's a kind of an interesting one. Uh, additionally, we can do this a kind of fun way. We can make a tuple, this time with two elements, and check to make sure, and then just flip them in, in the kind of two parts of the extends clause and see if what comes out is the same. It should be the same if they're both never. So it's pretty much the same, but just like a slightly different way to do it. Um, there's this one, uh, never 33. I don't know why I named it 33. Okay, never five, here we go. So T and never extends T. I have uh, I have searched my soul to have a way that I can explain this. It makes like 10% of sense to me when looking at it, but if someone in the comments, or Ian, Ian, would you like to explain this one? T and never extends T. Maybe it's because, yeah, I don't, like it only works if T is never in this case, right? Like that's right. that's kind of what we're seeing. Yes. 
So I would love it if somebody in the comments could write yeah, a know. long description of how this works. I do really genuinely appreciate those. Um, please, please, please write a blog post or a Medium article talking about this one. So similarly here, I think it's pretty, pretty straightforward, uh, like cousin. There's this one, T or true extends true. So maybe if whoever it is out there, you get to be writing about this, please do that. And I did see another solution where somebody did basically the same as number six here, except they kind of flipped the condition. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then if you do that, you have to check, does it actually equal false? Uh, <laughs> cause like false or false will extend false. So, uh, is, or is assignable to false. So, uh, there's those. And then, yeah, we talked about one of the nopes. There's this one. And again, this doesn't work because what it will return is actually never when it should return true. So you'll never get is never to be true, which is weird. And uh, there's there's this one, which is funny. It does work uh, is never. Let's do that. And then uh, we can. So we see all the tests pass and X does equal true. It's using exclude. So we're excluding never from T and we're checking that that thing that we just made ex extends never. Okay, um, it's a tough problem. So, so, so the, tr the trick with all these, it seems like, is that you don't ever check just T, right? Because mm -hmm. because of the way that that it, that it sort of extends into everything, right? Right, because anything um, is assignable to never. Right, right, right. True extends never. Um, For never six, would would true pass that? Like, would, would true be considered never in that Let's case it out. where it says? Um, so if we come up here and we do true, okay, and then let's put true in here. Um, oh, yeah. So number six is, is actually not a good, is, is actually a fail. Yeah. Right. So I think true maybe is not use... never, but it says true. Yeah. Good catch. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of like if there was a different way if you use strings there instead of true, but like mm, that would yeah, have the yeah, same yeah. problem. If you pass that same string in, then it would it would fail. What, so, what can you yeah. say? You know, um, it's a uh, it's a funny world we're living in where this kind of thing we have to like think deeply about these things. But every once in a while, but it's a fun one. This is one of my favorites of all of the challenges. Cool. Let's keep going.